I'm going to talk about paradigm. You hear this term from time to time. Certainly Thomas Kuhn has become very famous for his book, The Structure of Scientific Revolutions, concerning paradigm. Breadth, height, depth, and time constitute our world. This is the world in which we exist, walk around in. Or is it? To the psychologist, our world consists of neuron stimulation. Our brains interpret neuron impulses as objects. And to the physicist, our world is vibrant, pulsating particles. We know that baseballs and basketballs are spheres. We appeal to the mathematical model of a sphere when judging shape. If a ball is flawed, we select a different ball. We appear to a model or paradigm to which to understand experience. This paradigm enables us to predict events. It is a system, like the mathematics of a sphere, and it is essential to cognition. Observing a candlestick face illusion where you first see a candlestick and then a face, the picture doesn't change. You do. You are interacting with the picture. You are experiencing paradigm shift. A shift because either model fits the picture. But what is reality? Is reality our familiar homes and cars, nerve impulses, or particles scrambling into and out of existence? And worse, when events don't fit predictions, a crisis looms. To find a paradigm that fits anomalous events, we leave the old paradigm. We get out of the box, and a new paradigm is found. Will a paradigm of paradigms help? Well, that's like indexing indexes. Nothing is perfect, not object seen or paradigm used. A sphere may be mathematically perfect, but doesn't apply to a football or a brick. Different paradigms represent different levels of experience. Cognition requires a paradigm. It is our box. It is our world view. I thank you very much for listening, and you have a good day.